This is Thing On. Welcome back to Big Mouth and fancy seeing you here in June. A very welcome, my friends, and especially my enemies. Come in, sit down, no touching. I don't do the touching. Welcome back to Big Mouth. You can continue this and many more conversations with me over on Twitter at Movies TV Mad. Daniel Craig isn't a happy bunny, and this is why. After Daniel Craig recently shut a reporter down who asked him, if any winning actor, writer Phoebe Waller-Bridge was hired in the upcoming Bond film, No Time to Die, to make the film more diverse. The actor who has been playing James Bond in five films said Waller-Bridge was hired because she's a great writer. Of course she was. Look, we're having a conversation about Phoebe's gender here, which is fucking ridiculous. She's a great writer. Why shouldn't we get Phoebe on to Bond? That's the answer to that, the actor said. I know where you're going, but I don't actually want to have that conversation. Of course you don't want that, Danny boy. I know what you're trying to do, but it's wrong. It's absolutely wrong. She's fucking great. She's a fucking great writer. One of the best English writers around. And I said, can we get her on the film? That's where I came from, he added. No Time to Die is the 25th Bond film. Basically, right. Faber! Um, she is a diversity hire. Let's let's look at this a, a little bit more deeply, right? The original writers of Casino Royal and all the other Daniel Craig films wrote this film. She was brought on to rewrite this film. Why? Danny Boyle was sacked as the director. Why? Who's making these decisions? I'll quote him and say, why can't we bring her on the film? He's making the decisions. Not Barbara Broccoli, not the other people who own the studio, him. And you know why he's making the decisions? Because they don't want to lose him. Now, the media are claiming this is No Time to Die is his final Bond movie, so they're scared. Barbara Broccoli has already been quoted, and I saw her say, actually, on video, that they are trying to convince him to stay. And the way of doing that is letting him do whatever the fuck he wants, and whatever he wants is bringing feminist comedy writer-actress Phoebe Waller-Bridge. She's rewriting this movie. And the first thing she did was bring on a woman of colour to have the 007 codename. Need I say any more? So this film is going to be an absolute calamity. This is SJW pandering at the highest level. Yes, she was a diversity hire. They've done it on purpose. He doesn't want to talk about it. He doesn't want to answer the question. He's swearing at a reporter. But the truth is that reporter asked a very, very um, important question. And he wants to dodge it. She's just there because of her work. She's just there because she's a great writer. Listen, she's a comedy writer. Let's be, let's be straight here. And did, did, did this film need to be made more funnier? No. So we'll see, you know, the product that we get because Phoebe Waller-Bridge had to rewrite this film. But people are worried. People are worried that Bond will be killed off in this movie. And this female, uh, this woman of colour, who is now 007, will be going on in these films there on fourth. If that happens, goodbye James Bond. But it could happen. We don't know. But the point is, friends... This is what's happening in this entertainment industry. Women taking over the roles of men. Virtue signalling. Identity politics. I never thought I'd see in James Bond. I never thought that Daniel Craig would initiate this. It's absolute nuts. And what happens next, I don't know. But I'll make a little prediction for you. This Bond film will tank harder than any Bond film gone before it. The SJWs and the feminists have been after this film for a very, very long time. And now they've got their claws into it. They're not going to let go.